I have for years played the Vic Firth metal stick. Loved the weight of it, loved the length of it, just, it was awesome. But I kept finding that I was uh, basically destroying everything in its path behind my girth. Symbols were breaking, heads were pitting. It was just crazy mayhem. Um, the other stick that I would use in studio is the Peter Erskine ride stick. Really light, but had this beautiful bead on it that really brought out a great sound out of the cymbals. Had a really nice long taper, and surprisingly, for its lightness, had a great weight behind it. Vic convinced me to, to start thinking about what I would want in a stick. My idea was to try and combine the best of both worlds. So it has a, a similar bead, but beefed up, and then the taper is long. So it's the same length as, as the American Classic Metal, 17 inches, but then the taper is longer, which brings the shoulder down quite a bit. Because of the long taper, it, it really comes back off the, uh, off the drum nice. And, uh, and then the sound that it brings out of the drums and the cymbals and without damaging. When I hit a drum, it's like that. It's spread out the attack over the length of the bead rather than this really short nugget. Where I used to change a snare head every, God, I don't know, I would change four or five times in a show. Now I can go like three or four shows before it's like, ah, okay, it's time to change the snare, you know? And cymbals, I would literally, I'm sure Peisty really disliked me for a while there because I, I was breaking so many symbols. Um, but now, you know, they last a lot longer. So everything has, has now a much longer life as a result. So I don't know, I like this.